continue on today. This is section 5-4. We talked a lot about properties um, in our last lesson, and today we have one more property to talk about, and that is the distributive property. And that's something else we can use with numbers. And so today we're going to discuss how to use the distributive property. And this is section 5-4, so please have that written down there. All right, we're going to do it two ways. We're going to do it one way that's algebraic, which um, some of you should really like. We're going to do it one way that's numerical. Um, all right, so distributive property, that is um, using multiplication over division. Excuse me, not division, addition, I'm sorry. So we use multiplication and addition for this property. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to simplify some expressions. So when we simplify expressions, here's what it looks like. So first we're going to talk about this a little bit, and then we will simplify it. This says 5 times the quantity x plus 2. 5 times x plus 2. Now that 5 on the outside, we have to distribute it. If I were to distribute candy up to uh, my trick-or-treaters when they come to my house in October, that means that I would give a piece of candy to every single person that comes. I wouldn't just give a piece of candy to the first person in line. I might give eggs thrown at my house. So when you distribute it, you have to give it to everybody. So when I distribute this 5, I have to give it to everybody. That means I have to give a 5 to the x, and I have to give a 5 to the 10, too. And I want you to write those curves there. I want you to draw a line from the 5 to the x, and I want you to draw a line from the 5 to the 2. Now, I'm not going to get an answer that's a number here. I'm simplifying it. I'm writing it in a different way. When I take 5 times x, I get 5x. When I take 5 times 2, I get 10, and there's a plus sign in the middle. So this simplified is 5x plus 10, and that is my final answer. That is it. That's what I get when I simplify it. Okay, we're just going to do several examples here. Another example, what if I have 7 times, in parentheses, m plus 4? Well, I am going to distribute. So I'm going to take 7 times m, and I'm also going to take 7 times 4. When I take 7 times m, I get 7m. When I take 7 times 4, I get 28. So simplify it, 7m plus 28. I can't add that together and get 35m. This is the final answer. Don't keep going. You can't add those together. Can you add those together? No, you cannot add those together. All right, let's try a different one. Let's try one this time that has a subtraction sign. 10 times, in parentheses, x minus 10. So I'm going to take 10 times x, and I'm going to take 10 times 10. 10 times x is 10x. 10 times 10 is 100. This time it's subtraction. So I'm going to put the subtraction sign in the middle. Okay, let's try another way. This time we're going to put the, very, or the number on the other side. That doesn't make a difference. So I'm going to take 9 times y. And 9 times 7. I always do the number on the right first. So 9 times y is 9y. That has to be written first. 9 times 7 is 63. It's addition. So I'm going to have a plus sign there. Okay, this one's a little bit of a challenge one. 4 times in parentheses 2x plus 7. It's time to have a number in front of my x. That's okay. So I'm going to take 4 times 2x and 4 times 7. Well, 4 times 2 is 8, so that's 8x. 4 times 7 is 28, so my answer is 8x plus 28. If you're not quite sure how I did that, you go back and you look at those examples. Okay, those are some good examples there. They're pretty clear. I think you can do it. Okay, here's, um, I've got a secret problem for you. 5 times, in parentheses, x minus 3. That's your secret problem. Simplify that. All right, now we're going to do some, those were algebraic, now we're going to do some numerical. should probably go up here and let's write um, algebraic. 
and then um, down here we're going to write numerical. So this time I'm just going to do numbers, and this is a good way to do some mental math. So what I'm going to do, the number in parentheses, I'm going to split it up into tens and ones. So this is 30 and 7. So I'm going to split that up into 30 plus 7, because 30 plus 7 equals 37. And then I'm going to distribute. I'm going to take 4 times 30, and I'm going to take 4 times 7. And then I'm going to add that together, and I can do that mentally. So that's 148. All right, next, I'm going to try 9 times 26. So the number in the parentheses, I'm going to break that up into tens and ones. Your secret word is scooter. So when I break that up, I get um, 9 times in parentheses. 20 plus 6. When I take 9 times 20, I get 180. When I take 9 times 6, I get 54. That one you might have to add together over here if you're not quite sure. And you get 234. Now sometimes you can have things that are in the hundreds. So I'm going to take 6 times 232. So I'm going to break up 232 into hundreds, tens, and ones. So into, it's 200 plus 30 plus 2. And I'm going to get my different colors. So I take 6 times 200. That gives me 1,200. I take 6 times 30, which gives me 180. And I take 6 times 2, which gives me 12. When I add these two together, I get 1380. And that gives me 1392. And your secret problem for this is 5 times 72. I want you to break that up and use the distributive property to evaluate that. So when we do algebraic, we simplify. But when we do numerical here, we evaluate. That means we find the answer. We solve it. So I need you to evaluate this one here at the end. And show that to me the next time we have class, and we'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.